Zoe Laporte, web editor October 4, 2017 The weather is weird, school work is firing up and more TV shows are premiering. As the first full month of the fall semester comes to an end, there are still some exciting new releases before the Halloween exclusives begin. The third season of Fuller House releases September 22nd on Netflix without mention of how many seasons will be made. My bets are on eight seasons, just like the original Full House. If you're into sci-fi, or specifically Star Trek, CBS will premiere Star Trek Discovery September 24, 50 years after the original Star Trek series. The Good Doctor, which tells the story of a young surgeon with autism working in a pediatric surgical unit will premiere September 25 on ABC. Fun fact, this show is based off of a South Korean drama show under the same title. On that same day, The Big Bang Theory returns with season 11 while also premiering the new prequel Young Sheldon right after, both on CBS. The highly rated This Is Us returns with season 2 September 26 on NBC, with creator Dan Fogelman calling the premiere a huge, sad, beautiful wallop, which sounds a little rough. September 28 will showcase the 14th season of Grey's Anatomy and season 4 of How to Get Away with Murder, both on ABC. A childhood classic of mine, Will Grace, returns after a long hiatus on NBC September 28 as well. I am very excited to watch it again without getting too ahead of myself. Saturday Night Live returns September 30th on NBC, which I am also excited for. So far the end of 2017 is really showing off in the realm of television series. As mentioned earlier, American Horror Story Cult premiered September 5th on FX. At this moment, we are three episodes in, and to quote my friend Melissa Milbet, junior English major, it's a lot so far. American Horror Story is one of my favorite television series of all time, and so far Cult is really owning up to the original feeling of the first seasons of the horror drama Murder House and Asylum, specifically, which has gotten slightly muddled over the years. I am loving it so far and cannot wait to see the rest of this season. If you are itching to head to the movie theater, there are still some exciting releases. American Assassin starring Dylan O'Brien moved into theaters September 15, telling the story of two soldiers investigating random attacks on military and civilian targets. While it did not get the best reviews via Rotten Tomatoes, it may be worth seeing if you are a fan of action films. On September 22, Battle of the Sexes, starring Emma Stone and Steve Carell, tells the true story of the 1973 tennis match between Women's World 1 Billie Jean King and X-Men's champion Bobby Riggs. The iconic tennis match was known as a battle of the sexes and is one of the most watched televised sports events of all time. Coming from the same directors as the iconic movie Little Miss Sunshine, this movie looks like it will be an uplifting tale about overcoming challenges. I'm hoping for a chance to see it after watching Star Trek Discovery. You might want to go see the newest sci-fi film Flatliners released September 29th. Flatliners tells the story of five medical students who hope to understand what happens after life by starting a dangerous experiment of stopping their hearts for a short amount of time. Judging by the trailer, there looks to be a fair amount of horror as. Well, moving towards television again, the other day I watched a video from Netflix giving a list of everything that is going to be releasing in October, including Netflix originals and movies. In honor of the college student's most favorite tool of procrastination, I thought I would give a little roundup of notable Netflix releases for the month of September. The beginning of September saw classic films released on Netflix, including Dead Poets Society, Disney's Mulan, Jaws, Pulp Fiction and Requiem for a Dream. There was also the Rugrats movie, which is perfect for any trip down childhood nostalgia lane. By the second week, Season 7 of The Walking Dead, Season 4 of BoJack Horseman, and Season 7 of Portlandia were released. Mid-September saw the release of two Disney movies Pocahontas and the live-action Beauty and the Beast. Netflix released an original film, directed by Angelina Jolie, in mid-September. First They Killed My Father is about a five-year-old Cambodian child being trained as a soldier. With stellar reviews and incredible actors, the movie has helped bring light to some overseas terror. The end of the month saw many season continuations for shows such as Gotham, Dark Matter and Murder Maps. If you are still feeling nostalgic after watching the Rugrats movie, Netflix has also released a continuation series of The Magic School Bus titled The Magic School Bus Rides Again. If you don't relish being taken for a ride, worry not. Things will only get better as we begin the month of October.